Hello everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to The Funky Spork. My name is Mara and I am the founder, the creator, and the mother of Funky Spork. <sighs> so, we've gotta talk. We're, We're moving. moving. So here's the thing. About 98% of our entire life happens to be in boxes. And I mean lots and lots of boxes sealed in tape. And quite frankly, I don't want to open up any other boxes. So with that being said, what am I supposed to do about cooking and preparing our meals for the rest of the week? Hmm. Well, I do have one pretty darn handy piece of cookware and that happens to be my rice cooker for today's episode i'm going to show you a really easy simple moving packing minimalist friendly recipe that is only going to involve cooking everything an entire meal with all the fixings in this rice cooker so if you're looking for something fun, delicious, easy, and super practical and convenient and moving friendly, then please, please follow me to my kitchen. I'm back now that you saw how easy all that prep was I'm gonna show you how to put every single thing together for this amazing one pot chicken and rice dish so let's get started so first here is your rice cooker that you're definitely gonna need right now mine is already on tell you this is really easy super super easy get your rice because I'm doing four servings, one serving for me and my husband to enjoy for dinner and then another serving for leftovers, I'm going to do one cup of rice. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the diced tomatoes. What's gonna happen is as the rice is starting to cook, the tomatoes are gonna really start to soften and in some ways create kind of like a nice fresh sauce. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the chicken. Over the chicken thigh, I'm going to go ahead and add my seasonings. I like to give them a nice little mix so everything's well blended and just sprinkle evenly throughout the chicken. Next, I'll go ahead and add my onion and bell pepper. Now I'm going to go ahead and cover all this. Turn on this button, which indicates that everything's going to be cooking. And then we wait. Okay, everyone, I've got some really exciting news. After about 35, 40 minutes, everything is done. And you know how I know that? Because if you look here, it finally popped from being on the cook, which was red before, to being on the green. And I'll go ahead and zoom in to show you exactly what I mean. Come with me and uh, let's take a closer look at this amazing food. Let's go ahead and lift up the lid. It smells amazing. It smells so good. Um, I forgot to put the lime in initially, so I went ahead and just put it in, which was great because as everything was cooking up, it gave the lime enough time just to really become more tender and absorb more of the juices. So I'm gonna take this first lime out. Guys, look at that. That looks so amazing and so good. The chicken has cooked in the rice cooker. The bell peppers have just really absorbed all that flavor. Check that out. Okay, folks, I can talk all I want about how delicious this dinner looks and smells but the real moment of truth is just trying it so um let me go ahead and serve myself a little portion and give this a try mm, that looks so good oh my gosh ah this looks amazing okay well let's give this a try
Oh, wow. Telling you, I'm gonna do an ASMR segment where I cook my food and just <laughs> plop the camera down and record myself eating. I'm serious, folks. If you wanna see me do that, go ahead and comment yes below. And if you don't, just comment no so I can know. Um, I wanna make the people happy. But seriously, this is awesome. And it's really delicious. The rice is perfectly cooked. The chicken, well done. In fact, because chicken thigh and dark meat tends to be a little bit fattier and more juicy, all of those juices went in and cooked with the rice and therefore created a bit of a chicken broth. So there's that lovely flavor. The curry is beautiful, fragrant, floral, and the garlic is just so nice. That garlic powder is so nice. The salt, of course, kicks it, and so does the lime. This is just a really well seasoned meal. The peppers cooked very tenderly. So the onions and then the tomatoes just really kind of scattered around. So this meal is great because it has vegetables, it has your grains, it has your protein. This is really a complete meal. And if you're vegan or vegetarian and you don't want to do chicken, you can do tofu or you can do beans. But this is just a great example and a great way to show you that if you're someone like me who's moving or you're limited on cookware for whatever reason and you need to use some of your wilted veggies lying around, this is definitely going to be a dish you're going to want to go ahead and make. Folks, most people have a rice cooker telling you, take advantage of it. It does not just cook rice. As you see, my chicken's completely cooked and I am blown away by that. Well, anyway, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this wonderful dinner with my husband. If you liked this video, please help me by giving this a nice big fat thumbs up. And if you like my content and you wanna see more yummy, easy, practical dinner ideas, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell and all of your wildest dreams will come true. Well, I hope you all have a fantastic day and by the next time I see you, I'll show you my new kitchen. Bye bye folks, take care.